Recently, I've been seeing a lot of bald blue jays here in the backyard and also at our office. Dale has been seeing bald cardinals. David explains why this is happening to these birds. Hi, Dale. As an aging baby boomer cognizant of my rapidly thinning hair, your question hits close to my heart. The feather loss you're seeing in the head and back area of your northern cardinal, as well as on your blue jays, is most likely due to a process of molting an annual biological phenomenon in birds whereupon they replace their warm plumages. Every late summer and fall, one often sees this characteristic in blue jays and cardinals. It's usually because the affected birds have dropped all or most of their head feathers in one shot during the molting process. In many cases, it's mostly juvenile birds undergoing their very first molt, which produces that first winter adult plumage. It's really quite a normal thing to see, and in most cases, the head feathers grow back in a few weeks. However, if you see a lot of baldness in other songbirds and even non-songbirds, it could be caused by an abnormal molt. It's generally not in the bird's best interest to lose all of its feathers in one place at the same time. That's especially true of the wing and tail feathers, which birds need dearly to survive. And there are other possibilities too. Feather mites, lice, and bacteria, or some nutritional factor could be to blame. In these cases, one could see evidence of gross or a scab-like condition. Take a close look at those bald cardinals and jays. If you see black skin, that's normal, but if it's another color, it could mean that the bird's got a disease. And if you're seeing some baldness in woodpeckers in the heat of summer, that's altogether different. It could be a result of the bird feeding on melting suet, causing a greasiness and the loss of feathers. As for adding any kind of medicine to the food or bass of birds to prevent this baldness, it's a total waste of time and money.